Kelly. Hi. Hi. Great to see you. Uh, uh, I, always fun to see you. Have we have, have we danced together before? I feel like we have. We've danced together at right? parties. At parties, yeah. 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 Absolutely. You're a good dancer. You're a great dancer. Really? Yes. I think you know you are. I'm not though. No, you're like a quadruple threat. No, I just got exposed because I was at a concert and I was dad dancing. Yeah, but dad dancing is still cool dancing because <laughs> it's dancing that led to babies. It, it, okay, good. I'll take yeah. that. Thank you. I mean, you know, as long as you know how to dance one way, that's all that really matters. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, congrats. LiveWire is out today. Thank you. It's out. It's it. Congratulations. I love... Thank you. I want to get into all of it because I love the cover. Oh, okay. I, yes. Can we talk about the cover? Yes, please. Okay. So I picked this photo, and this is my demented brain, but tell me this is not the genius marketing strategy. Uh -huh. I thought people might think this is Sarah Jessica Parker and maybe think it's a book <laughs> about sex in the city what are you talking and about? accidentally so, buy it. You're so funny. Tell oh. me that's not a great strategy. No, that's not. You did not think like that. I did think like that. But I, then why would you put, why don't you just put Sarah Jessica, you know because her. Because people are going to think like, oh my God, that's so amazing. Kelly Ripper wrote a book about Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the colors. I love it pops. I mean, Thank when you, you hold it when you're on the subway, you're yeah. like, what's Look, up? Are you like, gonna carry he it? He gets it. Carry it on the subway? He gets it. Yeah, yeah you know does. what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, I, I love the. <laughs> and I like that that's how you walk on the subway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even stand in the way. I walk in between cars and just got to get to my and you destination. Have to say, I love sex I in love, the city. They're like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, I love the. Honesty of it, I think the humor is great. Uh, 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 I love also long-winded short stories, so <laughs> very self-deprecating as well. Well, you know me, so uh, I believe it or not, they cut 200 pages out of this book. I, I'm not kidding. You're welcome, no, America. No, I believe, I believe uh, that everything here is all, this is was, what you want. This really, is all the juicy stories. It was a lot harder than I thought. I thought that because I read books that I could somehow write them. And um, <laughs> they're, did, spoiler alert, they're real, real different. Yeah. Um, but it's I very hard really, to write a book. It was really hard. And, you know, there were times I realized I'm such a a poor typist that I wound up writing it freehand half the time and then transposing it. It was so, um, it was difficult and I, I had to really. But they asked you, your publisher said, hey, do you want a ghostwriter, someone that could write this for you? And you said, no, I, if I'm doing this, I'm I've doing. I've got to do it myself. Yeah, and good for I, you. Good for me, but also dumb me because I Googled a thousand times how to use a semicolon, how to use a colon. I still don't know. I'm like, yeah, I don't what? know about that either. I went to There'd be dashes in all I, my books. I graduated high school. I should know that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. I should know. You should I, know. Uh, texting my kids at 2 a.m. like, yo, know how to use a semicolon? Yeah. Uh, it, there's so many uh, funny, great stories here, uh, uh, and a couple of already made headlines. One that we, we could say there was one about you and your husband. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, having. Yeah, intercourse. Thank you. Yeah. No, sorry. I don't make me say it. Se sexual. Sex, of yeah, the sexual of kind. Of the sexual kind. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but it's actually a very, um, it sounds so crass and it sounds so gross and, and salacious and, and it is all of those things. But, <laughs> oh, thank you. But, but at the heart of it, it's about, we had just had a baby and I think that a lot of women that have just had babies are never quite sure what goes where ever again or how it's going to work sure. or will it ever feel normal and... I was one of those women, and unfortunately for my poor husband, Mark Consuelos, who is a great hero in this, in this story I and all Mark. of the stories. He, is, yes. he really is a hero. He's, no wonder he's been promoting this book so much. He's the hero he of the story. He comes off fantastically I know. cool in but every he story. Really he does. comes off like, but wow. But he, uh, you know, I, I had, sorry everyone if you're having your dessert right now, but he... I, I had an ovarian cyst. I didn't know I had an ovarian cyst. Uh -huh. And during during the lovemaking, I, I jumped up, fell, and hit my head. And he did not know what to do. He panicked. So he, everyone, the story, I just want to let everyone know, the headline is, he was so I, good I, in bed that, that he, you passed out. Right. The headline that has gotten picked up everywhere... That's the headline, Is that my husband is so... so 
I mean, who knows? Yeah, I mean, who knows? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. He's so all, yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. That, the porno, that, you, that you just you, passed out. That I How did you be rushed to the hospital? Right, but the story is that I passed out, hit, I hit my head. He calls 911 and then dresses me incredibly badly. <laughs> but you, you have to tell this, because this is the part of the story that made me laugh. He, he what were you wearing? He snakes me uh -huh. into a Capizio ballet leotard. <laughs> His... You didn't have sweatpants around or anything? Yes, I did. I had a whole closet full of sweatpants and T-shirts. All right, so oh, you're wearing a leotard? Snakes me into a ballet leotard. <laughs> then he puts on his Juventus side snap soccer pants in case we want to pick up a game somewhere. You've got to rip them right off. And then, and then the piece de resistance <laughs> are the <laughs> patent leather red Manolo Blahnik platform heels. You're being... Put on the back I of mean, an ambulance. Put in the back of an ambulance. Wearing heels and wearing heels and soccer like pants. A, you know, and the <laughs> paramedics leotard. are like, a prostitute has died. <laughs> <laughs> we oh don't my know. God. That's that was a, that was one of your alt titles of the book. <laughs> was, I, uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, yeah. So if you like uh, stories about sex and romance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's also stories about family, but also. Uh, your career, getting started, I mean, and how hard it is. And It's uh, hard, yeah. It's, it's, it, was a, it was a labor of love. I keep saying it's like giving birth, but nobody offers you any painkillers at any time during the process. Of writing a book. Of writing a book. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, you were remarking about the final chapter in the book, and I want you to know that you are going to blink, and people told us this, you're going to blink, and your children are going to be grown and out of the nest, and you don't know where the time went. And that's really that. what the story is. It's like, it's about endurance, endurance as a couple, endurance as a work person, endurance in your careers, endurance in, in just raising your family. It's it's a story of endurance. Yeah, and keep going, and you go, yeah, there, and, there is and a finish sure line. And make sure you is pick out be... clothes just in case you pass out on <laughs> <and sex. laughs> that one, yeah. Case of an emergency. I do love that. Uh, when when I pick up a book, I sometimes like to go to the last line. Yeah. Which I probably shouldn't do. No, I do that all the time. But it's beautiful. It's a good last line. Can yeah. I say it? Or? Yeah, of course, say it. It's Mark is saying to you, this is just the beginning. Yeah. Uh, he, I told that's you, he's the, the end hero of the book. Of this, story. Saying, <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yeah. It's like, look at what we made. Look at our life. Our yeah. kids are now in school. Yeah. They're happy. They're healthy. Yeah. And let's just enjoy everything. They're pissed that Kid Cuddy's here, and they're not here. <laughs> yeah, they're they're a little yeah they're a little upset. Uh, <laughs> but one thing uh, I, I learned uh, from you from this book is that we both have something in common. Yeah. On our birthdays, we both have Carvel ice cream cakes. We sure do. And I figured since it's kind of your birthday, it's <gasps> publishing day. Oh my God! Your book is now book out. Birthday. Your book is birthday. <laughs> I got a Carvel fudgy the whale. Thank you, my favorite. I'm going to light it. I want you to make a wish. Here we go. I'm going to light it and then make a wish and it's going to come true. Don't tell me what it is. Okay. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love it right there. There you go. You doing it? Kelly Ripper right here. Congrats on the book. Thanks, baby. Dude, you deserve it. Look on back. We're going about Live Wire. Long winded choice stories. We're going to play a fun game. Come on back. Hey, hey.